Everybody. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Sophia and I'm a third year at the University of Virginia. This is my first vlog in a while. I'll get into why that is a little bit later in the video, but I'm running to Bodo's Bagels right now to get breakfast with my friend Isabel. So we're gonna walk over there. It's only like a five minute walk from my house. But yeah, it's a Thursday today. I have class from 9.30 to 3.15 straight. So it's a jam packed day. I have this on Tuesday and Thursday and then one class on Wednesday. So it's a trade off. They're busy busy days but then I have four day weekends because I have Monday and Friday off so yeah let's get the day started okay guys we made it to breakfast and I got everything bagel egg and bacon best order at Bodo's and what'd you get Izzy? I got plain bagel with butter <laughs> texted her saying plain butter with bagel. Butter. I know, I was supposed to order for her, but I didn't see your text, but no, yeah, we're gonna munch. And we're sitting outside because it's so nice out today. It's so nice, I'm sweating. which means I'm done with class for the day. Like I said at the beginning of this video, Tuesdays and Thursdays are pre-stacked for me. Today I had intro to media, history of media, Mexican cinema, and documentary film. And then technically I have another class today, but it's asynchronous right now because my professor is from India and she's having some visa paperwork issues. So we're having class asynchronous for the remaining future until she's able to make it to the States. But I'm walking home right now and in about an hour I'm gonna meet up with my friend Trent and we're going to Jim Ryan's house which is the president of UVA they do this thing I don't know how often they do it but they'll like open up the house and give the students food and we get to play with like their pets and stuff so I'm excited I've never done it before and I've heard it's really fun I just can't get over how good the weather is I feel like honestly that's one of the reasons I wanted to vlog today because I've just been in like such a better mood than the past few weeks again I'll talk about that later in the video when I have more like time to sit down and chat but it's literally like 60 degrees right now yesterday it was like 65 and I was doing homework on the roof at the house and I literally had to come inside because I was getting too hot so super nice because the weeks before that it was about 15 degrees <laughs> I'm also super hungry so I'm probably gonna grab a snack when I get home chill for a sec and then meet up with Trent guys we are home now and it's like 6 45 had a great time with Trent Hadley ended up meeting up with us on the lawn it was really cool to get to see Jim Ryan's house we didn't see Jim but we saw his wife so that was really cool they gave us donuts we got to play with their dogs and then ended up hanging out on the lawn as the sunset played the frisbee a little bit but I wanted to just kind of set up the camera and like talk about what has been going on in my life recently and give like an update to I guess what's been happening post semester at sea for starters I am living in my sorority house. If you don't know, I'm in Chi Omega at UVA. I've been in it since first year, so for the past three years. And I live in the attic, which is like our top floor. It's not actually an attic, but it's the top floor of the house. And there's three of us in this room. So I live in a triple with Caitlin and Isabella. I moved in like pretty soon after I got back from semester at sea. And I think that was one of the first things that sent me into this 
weird mental health period that I've been in. I got home from semester at sea December 24th, Christmas Eve, and I was at home for like three days, not even until my family and I left for a cruise because my mom and my stepdad were getting married. That lasted until January 3rd, and then I had like three days at home and then I came and moved back to UVA. Classes didn't start until January 18th, but I moved back early because we had rush workshops, which basically is just us preparing for recruitment and then rush started the weekend before classes started. And looking back, I just should not have participated in rush this year. Like I had just came back from such an intense jam-packed experience and I was processing so much and emotionally I just was like all over the place and I just needed like a break to be at home but I don't know how to say no sometimes and I just convinced myself that I needed to get back to school and get back to my routine and I didn't want to miss rush but that ended up biting me in the butt because I got so overwhelmed. Just moving into the house during rush was super chaotic because everyone from the sorority was over like pretty much every day. The PMs who were the people rushing were over at the house. Like I didn't really have any sense of my own space, which is something I really value. I mean, even now I don't really have my own space. Like my bed's in the middle of the room and I share a room with two other people, but during rush it was just like a whole nother level. And I got super overwhelmed. I think also I've just been mourning that experience that I had because it was just so beautiful. That experience is over and I can't go back to it. I can try and do semester at sea again as like a lifelong learner later in my life, but it's not gonna be the same. And I think that's been like something hard to let go of. Overall, it's just been a bit overwhelming to be back. As much as I've been like low emotionally these past few days, I've found my energy start to pick up a bit. I don't know if it's the weather or time just going by. I feel like time heals all wounds, but I've been feeling a little bit better these past few days. There's always ups and downs. Healing isn't linear, obviously, but I've been feeling a little bit better. That's kind of what led me to pick up the camera today. I felt like I had like this space to actually record. I feel like for the past month or so, I just have been so out of it that I didn't even want to pick up the camera, but this is something that brings me joy and I want to start leaning back into things that bring me joy because I know that'll help me feel better. Next weekend, I'm going home to Charleston, which I'm really excited for. I've been trying to like go places on the weekends. Like in a few weekends, I'm supposed to visit my friend at Virginia Beach. I feel like that's been a fun way to keep adventure in my life. I think that's something Semester at Sea had me get accustomed to is like always being in a new place but even if I'm not traveling I can go to places that are like local. But yeah, I think I'm going to shower and get some food. I don't have class tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday but I have a doctor's appointment in the morning so I'm probably gonna go to bed early. <laughs> actually like a week later i just got ready for the day i actually filmed a get ready with me for tiktok and talked a little bit about semester at sea go follow my tiktok if you haven't already i've been trying to be a little bit more active on there I feel like for a while i just didn't really understand tiktok but now like i get it and i want to be more present on there but yeah i'm wearing a very comfy outfit today and i'm wearing a tennis skirt because it's actually really warm out it's really warm out for the past few days honestly i'll show you the weather look at that there's a chance of rain but it's gonna get up to 60 which is really nice. Didn't vlog much this past week just because I've been trying to be good about not recording on days when I'm not really feeling it. I feel like I got pretty burnt out from semester at sea, like vlogging every single thing for four months straight was just a lot of content. It was a lot of editing. I still have footage that I have yet to even touch from SAS, so I don't want to get burnt out again. YouTube is one of my greatest passions. I have so much fun with it, but if I overwork myself, then I lose my passion for it. So today I have class from 9.30 to 3.15. I actually need to go soon because it's like 9.10. I may or may not be going to my last class of the day. That's like a project working day. For the first half of class, we're like going over how to edit on Adobe Premiere, which I already know how to do because I 
obviously do YouTube and I had an internship this past summer that like strictly used Adobe Premiere for editing. Like the second half of class is just working on our project which I'm going to be working on this weekend with my partner so may or may not be going to that last class because I do have a little bit of stuff to do before 5 30 when Jay comes into town. We have a date function tonight so he's coming into town like around 5 30 and I want to get like all my work done before then so I can be fully present. But yeah I'm gonna get to class to walk all the way over to Wilson Hall which is like near the rotunda but my house that I'm living in this semester the location is so much better than when I lived in my apartment last year if you guys don't know I lived at the standard and it was a really nice apartment complex I honestly really enjoyed my time there but it was just really far away and now I only have to leave like 10 minutes five minutes before class to get to most buildings I'm probably gonna make like a coffee to go pack some snacks because I'll be in class from 9 30 to 3 straight and I am definitely someone who gets very hangry <laughs> so I'm gonna pack some snacks pack some coffee and then we're gonna walk over also I wanted to show something kind of funny that's been happening so I have like a regular water bottle that I use on a daily basis and it's small enough to bring to class it's kind of like a normal hydro flask size but it's a knockoff it's from brand like life is good but I left that in my friend's car when we went skiing a couple weeks ago and I still have yet to get it back so I was using this jug that my dad got me because he knows I love drinking water I'm pretty sure this is like a whole quart but the straw broke off so number one I can't bring this to class because it's just so obnoxious and number two whenever I want to drink out of it I have to do this and my biggest fear is that if I bring it in public and I do that it's just gonna pour all over me so I've been drinking out of like the public water fountains like a elementary schooler <laughs> Okay guys, we're walking home now. It's like around two. I decided I'm not going to that last class just cause it's not really necessary and I have some stuff I wanna get done before 5.30. I'm gonna go home, make some food cause I'm starving and then probably go to North Grounds and get in a workout. And then I also have like a couple assignments that I wanna do before Jay gets here, so. Also, I ended up meeting a subscriber today in the bathroom. I went to the bathroom in my history of media class and someone who watched my videos was in there. So shout out to you if you're watching this. It's so nice to meet you. I loved our little meetup we had in the bathroom. Uh -huh. 